In version 10.0 of SAP Business One, new authorizations have been added to various areas of the system. The new authorizations that have arrived with version 10.0 of SAP Business One include the tabs on master data screens, the copy table feature, the ability to remove opportunities, as well as being able to view other users' payment drafts. These new authorizations will help give your company more control over what each user can access in the system. To begin, let's navigate to Administration, System Initialization, Authorizations, and General Authorizations to demonstrate the new tab-level authorizations for both the Item Master and Business Partner Master Data screens. For the Business Partner Master Data screen, the new tab authorizations will be located under Business Partners, Business Partner Master Data, while the Item Master tab authorizations will be under Inventory, Item Master Data. These new tab authorizations will allow you to restrict a user's access to any of the specified tabs. You can set a user's tab authorizations to either full authorization, read-only, or no authorization. Full authorization will grant the user complete access to information on the tab unless another authorization restricts the user's access to a specific field on the tab. Read-only will allow the user to see the information on the tab but will not be able to modify any of the information on the tab. Finally, no authorization will completely remove the tab from the user's master data screen. If the inventory data tab authorization was set to either full authorization or read only, it would appear between the sales data and planning data tabs on the item master screen. Now let's move on to the new copy table authorization, which can be found under general, copy table, this new authorization will allow you to restrict who can right-click a specific screen in SAP Business One and select Copy Table, which will copy the entirety of everything on the specific table. This will be beneficial if you do not want certain users copying full queries and reports and pasting them outside of SAP Business One. Please note that this authorization has been added in Feature Pack 2011 for version 10.0 of SAP Business One. Next, let's take a look at the new Remove Opportunity Authorization that is located under Opportunities, Special Opportunity Authorizations, and Remove Opportunity. This authorization will give you the ability to restrict who can remove opportunity documents from your system. When set to No Authorization, the user will not be able to select the Remove option after right-clicking an opportunity. Please be aware that this authorization has been added in Feature Pack 2102 for version 10.0 of SAP Business One. The last new authorization we will go over is the authorization to view other users' incoming and outgoing payment drafts. These new authorizations are located under Banking, Outgoing Payments, Payment Drafts Report, and View Incoming and Outgoing Payment Drafts Created by Other Users. When either of these authorizations are set to no authorization, the user will not be able to view other users' payment draft documents in the payment drafts report. Please be aware that these authorizations have been added in Feature Pack 2102 for version 10.0 of SAP Business One. The various new authorizations in version 10.0 of SAP Business One Offer your company greater flexibility when it comes to setting what information your team can access. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.